So Carl met his wife, Barbara, about two years ago when they worked together at a tuna canning factory. Carl says he fell in love with Barbara from the first time he saw her. But lately, her behavior has been really fishy in his mind. Carl asked me to unlock Barbara's phone and find out if she has been cheating on him. We're going to meet him in a minute, but first, let's see what Barbara had to say about the situation. When I met Carl two years ago, I had just lost my husband. We were together for 15 years before he passed away. In that relationship, I didn't have to really like answer to anyone, just as long as I did what I needed to do. But now, I always have something I have to answer to. He just don't know when to stop. He goes on and on and on. When I get mad, I get frustrated, and I just walks away. And during those times when I'm gone, he's always accusing me of other people. I'm deleting messages. I'm going to meet people. I'm just tired of this situation. I have never cheated on Carl. Carl knows this. I told him, and he just won't get it through his head. Karamo, when you prove my innocence, I want Carl to kiss my feet. Please tell me, why do you want to unlock Barbara's phone? Well, Karamo, I've never been concerned with a woman and what she's doing and how she's doing. She's my woman. Yes. I'm good with that. Yes. Right? But You're secure. I'm very secure. Yes. Very secure. But Barbara, when I first met Barbara, everything was beautiful. And then all of a sudden, Barbara got... She stayed on the phone all the time. Kept her phone in the hand. And she's always text messaging, always text messaging. And this went on for over a year. Mm. Uh, one day I decided to check her phone. I could see like 40 or 50 text messages. Every single one of them was deleted. Okay. It could see, I could see what she received, received them. I could see how many minutes she talked, but I couldn't see nothing in it. Got it. So you think she's deleting messages? Absolutely, I know she is. What are the suspicious behavior have you noticed with her? Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, Karama. Barbara, mm -hmm. when I first met her, she was living in one place, I was living in my apartment. And I decided it'd be more convenient for us to move together, you know, for the finances reason. Yeah. So Barbara moved with me the first weekend. She moved with me like on a Wednesday, that Friday. Barbara left to go somewhere. I didn't see Barbara again until Sunday night. Mm. When she came home, she had these elaborate meals. Yeah. And I opened the door, and then I opened the door, I see a guy pulling off. And come to find out, she said, this is an old friend of hers. And when he seen me, he took off. Mm. That was just one time. I could tell you incident after incident. In two and a half years, I stopped counting at 25. Really? Like of that many men that you think? No, not that many men. 25 times she was missing overnight. Overnight. I need to go back. What, what yeah. was your life like when you met Barbara? You know, I've been, a, I've been, I've been horse my whole entire life. <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> I got 10 children. Yes. I got nine daughters and one son. I got 32 grandchildren. Mm, my gosh. I got eight baby mamas. Oh, wow. I cheated on every woman I ever had in my whole entire life. Okay. Every single one of them. I was not faithful. But when I met Barbara, I truly, truly had made it. I was, I was out of that relationship for two years. And when I met Barbara, I was ready. You told my producer that you know the signs of cheating. I guess you would after. Let me tell you oh, something. yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on. You... When, you look, when you look at cheater in the dictionary, I have my picture there. Oh. You know, my picture is <laughs> up there. You know, it's not nothing I'm proud of, right? And I don't regret none of my kids. Yeah. And I, you know, because I got a, I got a big, beautiful family now. Yes. And, um, uh, but when I met Bob, I was ready. I had made up my mind, the next woman in my life, I'm not going to commit. And let me tell you, this is true. When I first laid my eyes on her, I fell in love with her instantly. Mm -hmm. Instantly. I don't, it never happened to me before in my life. Yeah. We have fun together. Oh, perfect. Okay, yes. good. Good. Yes. Well, listen, everyone, I'm ready to meet Barbara. So, everyone, please welcome Barbara to the show so we can hear her side of the story. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, so Barbara, why did you agree to unlock your phone? Because I'm going to ease this man's mind. Uh huh. So he can have a peace of mind. Yeah. And he know I am not that woman he think I, I am. I don't know that. You will find <laughs> out. I don't know that. You will find I, out. If today. I knew that, we would be at Karamo. <laughs> you will okay. find out. I don't today. know that. So why do you leave the house for days at a time? During the frustration and all the things you hear him saying, just imagine me. Put on your running shoes and run as fast as you can. Mm. All I need is a little relief, peace of mind, and let me gather my thoughts. But he says, yeah, she can run around the block. <laughs> she ain't got to run away. Yeah. <laughs> because you leave for days at a time, though. The last time was days at a time. You know, that was the longest period of time I had been gone. Mm -hmm. She'd been gone weekends. Weekends, that's just a weekend because I have a chance. I want to go and meet people, you know, that I haven't seen. You can meet people with me. Carlton, I let ain't me no get, you, you don't can have... meet people with me. That's excuses. 
That's nothing Now but... you see why we are here. That's why. I want to be able to talk to you all because I can't talk to him. Mm. Well, see, let me tell you something. Your ISIS speaks. This is, it's an old cliche that says, silence speaks volume. Mm -hmm. It's what you do. You ain't got to say nothing. How you white? You ain't got to say nothing. So he's saying that he would love to go with you just to experience this. No, 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 no. We do not need that. Why? Because the simple fact, at that time, it's about me. Gather my thoughts so I can handle what I'm handling when I'm with him. Well, well you need to be with you and not me if it's all about you. When Listen. we got together, Barbara told me when we first got together, this was, this is what, she sold me on this one. Yeah. She said, when I love, I love. There ain't no breaking up, ain't no end of this. Right? And ain't no separation. Mm -hmm. You don't separate over 25 times. When you leave overnight and got a column before, you don't separate it. Mm. So you can't tell me nothing. You come back with no excuse. That's why we're here, because I can't tell you anything. There you go. So where do you go when you leave all this time? I oh, want to I just walks away. No, I she don't, you walk away for hours and hours. Just get she ready to kiss these feet. She called me on Memorial Day. <laughs> you she, get ready. She called me on Memorial kiss Day, right? Kiss these feet. Karoma. She not called the, Not the shoe off. Kiss yes, my feet. I am ready <laughs> for you. Unlock that phone. I tell you this, sir. Not only, yes. not only will I kiss her feet if she ain't did, if she ain't did what I think she did, mm -hmm. but I'll never accuse her again. And that's but, what I'm waiting on. But, I'm so waiting. I want to know: Have you been deleting messages out of your phone? No, I do not delete no messages uh -huh. out of my phone. Nine out of ten, if I do get messages, I don't even respond to them. Okay. Well, you know? even the messages, because she said she, when she get messages, don't respond, right? Yeah. But why would I go on your phone if you get messages and don't respond to them? Why would I go on your phone? Every single one of your text messages is erased. All of them. Trying to ease you, your but mind. But it, it tells you, it tells you how long you talked and who you talked to. But the conversation doesn't have nothing with the conversation. Mm -hmm. I know when you go on my phone, I've never erased a message on my phone. Well, yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. I'm not gonna lie. I have erased messages off my okay. phone, right? But I've been stopped doing that. Okay. Right. But every one of her messages is gone. So Carl turned off your phone. I paid mine okay. and didn't pay hers. That's right. That's so right. how did that make you feel? The, no, not how it made me feel. I was very angry and upset about that. But that also gave me a peace of mind because I have that not to worry about anymore. That's a if lot. I don't oh, have so a you phone, were fine that the phone was if, off. If I don't have a phone, maybe this phone would be at that ease. That don't work either, Karamo. You know why? We got the internet. Oh. All she do is hook up to the internet. She's still doing the same thing she uh -huh. was doing. She could talk on the phone. She got to download text apps uh, yeah. for her phone and everything. She got to talk on Facebook. She the same thing. Okay. If we unlock your phone, do, what do you think we're going to find? Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I have nothing to hide. Okay. Well, we unlocked your phone. Yes. Um, and we also unlocked your phone. Absolutely. Yes. Because we wanted to make sure if we're going to make sure to see what one is doing. Absolutely. Especially since you said you cheated before. Let's go. Right. All right, so I want to start with Barbara's phone. When it came to phone calls that were suspicious between her and any other men, we found zero. Woo! When it came to apps, we found zero. Let's go, let's when go. When it came I to photos, you. anything that would be you. suspicious, again, zero. Told you. Told you. And when it came to text messages, <laughs> When it came to text messages, Come on. we found zero. Woo! She wasn't doing that. She wasn't, she not doing that. She not doing that. Next. Let's go. Let it out, Corona. All right, then. Well, listen. When it came to Carl's phone, we looked for any suspicious behavior from Barbara and also from yourself. All right, when it came to calls, we found zero. When it came to apps, we found zero. When it came to photos, we found zero. <laughs> <laughs> and when it came to text messages, we found zero as well. Uh, before, uh, 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 <laughs> The funny part, and this is this has never happened before. Our, the phone investigator that we use, he actually asked me if these phones were even active because he said they have literally nothing on them. That he thought these phones were just brand new phones people gave to us. 
That's how little y'all use y'all yeah, phones. We don't use our phones that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But she play, she play games on her phone all the time. Yeah. And so do I. I play poker. That, that's and what she, we saw to yeah. know these were new, still not new phones because we could see from the games you played that y'all been playing for a while on the right. phones. Yeah. Um, I will tell y'all this, though, because even though in all good and fun, I do love the relationship. I think y'all are sweet. I'm going to tell y'all two things that I did notice. First thing is there is a little bit of controlling behavior there and a little bit of paranoia. Because you've been through some things in your life, you cheated, and you're projecting a lot of that on her. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And even like turning off the phone, you got a woman who's like saying, fine, but part of that is control. It's coming out in one very specific way. You do overtalk your wife. Yes, she yes. She doesn't get a point out. I watched it. Every time she got a point, and what happens is you think she changed the subject, but you done moved on to two subjects, so she get confused. Well, I'm faster than her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm just saying. saying, if you really want this to work, you know now she's not cheating. You know she's not doing anything. You got to watch that paranoid behavior, and you got to watch the controlling behavior. Yes. Because you ask God for a woman that's going to love you, who's not going to treat you bad, who's not going to be the karma you think you deserve, and you got it right here. You hear that? You hear I that? Thank you. I really Thank you. Thank you. You're not innocent either. Talk to me. Okay. <laughs> you kept saying, I have to handle my thoughts. I have to find my peace. You decided to be in a committed relationship with this man. Yes. And this is where you, of course, are owed your own peace. But part of the thing that's causing you the lack of peace is by you running away. Yes. You got to be able to talk to him about how you're feeling. And I get it. He was over talking you. That's why I made sure it was acknowledged. Yes but you have to be able to say, this is what I'm feeling. Because the more you let him in, then he's gonna understand when you take a walk. Okay. He's gonna understand when you wanna go. But at the same rate, come on now. Taking 30 mile walks, <laughs> being gone for three days, going to six. six days, any of that, that's not healthy behavior. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. Yeah. And if you really want this to work, you gotta give your man the respect enough to say, this is what I'm feeling, this is the time I need, Let's figure this out. Yes. Versus you just disappearing. Yes. You feel that? I feel you very much. All right, then good. It's amazing. Yeah. I thank Listen, you so I think, very much. I think y'all are a fun, beautiful couple. And I'm actually happy to meet y'all. Y'all so good. Listen. Hey, Ramo, I really appreciate yes, it. Of course. I'm very shocked. <laughs> I'm very shocked. I mean, hell, I must be going crazy. You gonna apologize <laughs> to your wife for all the accusations? I am so sorry. I will never accuse you again. And I'm gonna shut up and let you do most of the talking. Oh. She like to talk too. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. There you go. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you wanna watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.